Hi, how are you? This is Brando and this time I will talk to you about degrees of certainty. Okay, these are the ways in which you can tell or express uh, how sure you are about something. There are different expressions you can use depending on, again, how sure you are about anything or, or uh, any statement or anything that is happening around around you. Okay, for example, I'll tell you like the from when you are a hundred percent sure until like you have no idea about it. Okay, the first one would be uh, the phrase you use when you are a hundred percent sure. It's very simple. When you are a hundred percent sure, you just have to uh, you just have to use the simple uh, present simple. Okay. Like for example, if someone asks you, "Why is uh, why didn't John John come to class?" You can say, "He is sick." You are 100% sure that he is sick, and that's why he didn't come because he is sick right now. Okay. Uh, the other expressions I have here, when you're not uh, completely sure, but there are low low chances that you are wrong. In those cases, you, uh, you have to use must. It expresses 95% of uh, certainty, okay? Like for example, why is not John here? He must be sick, okay? You are 95% sure about his uh, state, about his health, okay? That's why you say he must be sick. The other one, to express a low degree of certainty, you can say, uh, you can use might, uh, may, or could. Okay, this one expresses around 50% of certainty. Why is John not here? He might be sick, he may be sick, he, uh, he could be sick. Okay, you can say might, could, may, and it, they all have the same meaning. Okay, it's not like uh, could is more sure, uh, than uh, uh, may or might, okay? They're all the they ha they all have the same level of certainty. So remember that when you are 100% sure about something, you only have to use the simple present, okay? Why is not young here? He is sick. He is uh, doing something with her, with his mom, okay? Or whatever. Uh, when you're 95% sure, when it's not like, uh, yeah, 95% because there are very high chances of you being right, you say must. Uh, why didn't, uh, why didn't uh, he do his homework? He, uh, or why is, not, why is he not here? He must be uh, sick, he must be sleeping, he must be, uh, I don't know, doing something, something more important. Okay, and when you are and like 50% of 50% sure, like there are, you could be right, but you could be wrong, you know, you're, you are just guessing, just say uh, he might, he might be sick, he may, uh, he may be sleeping, or he could be, uh, I don't know, buying the groceries with, uh, with his mom or whatever, okay? I hope this was useful for you, thank you very much. And uh, see you next time. Hola, soy Brando y en esta ocasión te voy a hablar sobre los niveles de seguridad. Son diferentes expresiones que utilizamos o las diferentes formas en las que podemos expresar qué tan seguros estamos sobre cualquier cosa. ¿Ok? Aquí tengo diferentes niveles, diferentes tipos de expresiones o las diferentes formas en las que puedes decir qué tan seguro estás de, de algo, de cualquier cosa que está sucediendo. ¿Ok? Uh, la primera sería una, la forma en la que expresas que estás 100% seguro de algo Cuando tienes las pruebas, cuando no hay forma en la que estés equivocado sobre algo que estás diciendo En ese caso simplemente se usa el presente simple Simple present Ok Si te preguntan Why is John not here? ¿Por qué John no está aquí? He is sick Él está enfermo Sabes que está enfermo, está 100% seguro de que está enfermo y por eso se dice, él está enfermo. He is sick. ¿Ok? Por otro lado, tengo las expresiones que se utiliza o la palabra que se utiliza cuando se está 95% seguro, de repente 95, 90% seguro, que estamos muy, 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 muy seguros de eso, pero hay 
pocas posibilidades de que nos podamos equivocar y en ese caso se utiliza must ok why is John not here porque John no está aquí he must be sick él debe estar enfermo ok es muy es muy poco probable que estemos equivocados pero igual existe la posibilidad de que nos, equi de que nos equivoquemos en tercer lugar están las expresiones que se utilizan cuando uno está 50-40% seguro de lo que se está diciendo Y en este caso son tres palabras Tenemos might, may y could ¿Ok? Vamos a un ejemplo Why is John not here? ¿Por qué John no está aquí? He might be sick He may be sick He could be sick Él podría estar enfermo ¿Ok? No, solamente puede ser que estoy adivinando o lo estoy diciendo por decir. No estoy 100% seguro de nuevo. No estoy ni 90 ni 60 pues ni 70% seguro. Solamente lo estoy diciendo porque es una posibilidad. Puede ser verdad, pero también puede ser mentira. ¿Ok? Bueno, espero les haya gustado. Recuerden que eh, los tres niveles de seguridad que tenemos, 100% seguro, utilizando el, simple, el presente simple, el eh, 90% seguro, utilizando must, y el 50% eh, seguro, utilizando may, might y could. Okay, espero les haya sido muy útil y nos vemos en la próxima.